Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on the post fight of Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez and Julio Cesar Martinez. What a fight, everybody. What a fight. Congratulations to Chocolatito, right? Canelo Alvarez was in the building showing them boys love, going crazy. You know how Canelo get when the fight is on. You know what I mean? Chocolatito, you know, thank Canelo Alvarez. Say he's one of his favorite fighters. Um, you know, in the world to watch, you dig? And Canelo most definitely like Chocolatito style. But nonetheless, fam, what a fight, man. Chocolatito went out there um, and, and showed why he is one of the greatest to, um, you know, ever lace him up, bro. Chocolatito is a bad boy, bro. He's a bad boy. Um, the best fight out of Nicaragua. Um, I know he goes as his mentor. Um, you know, he don't like to take that title. You feel me? But at the end of the day, he has to accept it, bro. He has to accept it. To be the age he is and put on the performances that he put on. Um, defeating Julio Cesar Martinez the way he just um, defeated him. Um, it, it says a lot, bro. It speaks volumes. It speaks volumes, bro. Um, everybody wants the trilogy with him and the Starlet 3. But right now, I'm going to let him enjoy his victory because this was a hell of a victory. This was one hell of a victory, bro. You got to give him his credit. You got to give him his just due. Um, it, it was close. Um to the bookies that mean the vegas people right so they said it was gonna be a close fight a lot of people thought martinez would take this fight they thought the youth would come alive um i'm a big time big time big time chocolatito fan so i'm always going with chocolatito with my heart you feel me i'm going to always go with chocolatito with my heart but something in my mind i thought the young martinez would probably put it on them um come forth not saying put it on like um, just beat the shit out of them but i thought the young martinez would probably find a way to, to, to squeak this one not because of the youth but Chocolatito showed us, man, that the experience is everything, bro. Experience is everything. And not only that, being on that big stage like that. You know what I'm saying? Being on that big stage like that, Chocolatito been there many, many times. Plenty of times he's been on that big stage. Um, Martinez, you know, he's been there a little bit, but not this type of stage. You know what I mean? With Canelo being in the building and, and you going up against one of the greatest to ever do it, a four-division world champion. So it added a little pressure. You know what I mean? Um, Martinez, he showed heart, bro. He showed heart, but... You know, heart don't win fights all the time. Heart don't win fights all the time. You got to be out there with your mind. You got to be out there thinking. You got to use your skill set. You feel me? Um, he wanted to just bang it out. And Chocolatito showed more than just banging it out. At times, he did bang it out with him. You know what I mean? I didn't like the fact that Martinez dropped his hands up a lot in the fight. That's To me, that's called a little showboat because you're leaving yourself wide open to take shots. And we all know that this boxing, it's a, it's a gruesome sport, man. Boxing is a gruesome sport. And when you leave yourself open like that for them big shots, yes, you probably can take it now because you're young. But in the future, you'll pay for that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You'll pay for that type of shit. That's called damage, bro. That's called damage. You don't want to give away no free damage. You don't want to give away no free damage, you feel me? Like like Nicky said when we, when we were streaming the fight, um, Nick said, you know, uh, being called a warrior fighter ain't the same as being called a smart fighter. You want to be called a smart fighter in there, you know what I'm saying? Not just going out there doing stupid things, leaving yourself open for shots, bro, because it's not cool. It's just not cool to take big-time shots like that, bro, from big-time punches and big-time fighters like Chocolatito can punch. Like people think, oh, he didn't drop him this, that. Yeah, just because he didn't drop him, I mean, them punches didn't hurt, man. Just because he didn't drop them doesn't mean them punches didn't hurt and they not going to wear on you, bro. I told y'all, a body is not made to be beat on and the brain is not made to be shook. Understand those words. Um, if you don't know the meaning of what I'm talking about, do some research. A body is not made to be beat on, you dig me? And your brain is not made to be shook. And his body was beat on and his brain was shook a lot in this fight, bro. And that could uh, pay off in the long run, um, you know, when you get up there in age, bro. You know what I mean? Seizures, CTE, that shit is real. It's real. You know what I mean? So I'm wishing Martinez all the best. Um, I want him to start getting a little bit more defensive sound. You dig? Um, get better with his foot and get better with, with, with just being smart in the ring because he still got some room to grow. This loss to, to um, my guy Chocolatito, you know, it don't just kill his career. It don't just kill his career. Like I say, he's still young. Just got to be more smarter on the go. And, uh, you know, it's going to hurt a little bit, but I think he'll get his confidence back. And he got to stay disciplined. You can't be missing weight on the scales. You can't be missing weight on the scales. You have to be disciplined. You have to stay in the gym. You have to work on the game plan correctly when you're going up against disciplined fighters like like um, Chocolatito, bro. You know what I mean? Now, nah, Chocolatito, man, listen. Where did this put him? It put him right there in, in the mix with getting that trilogy with um, Estrada. 
You feel me? Everybody want to start a trilogy? It puts them right there to get that trilogy, bro. It puts them right there to get that trilogy and give us a hell of a fight with those dudes. And I mean, give us a hell of a fight with those dudes, you dig? A lot of people felt like Chocolatito won the last fight. They feel like, oh, man, y'all know, man, he was robbed, this, that, and the third, you know. It was a close fight. Um, I thought Chocolatito won it. Not mad at winning straight away, right? Because I can't say that a close fight is a robbery. But I did think Chocolatito won the fight, you know what I mean? And you can say it's a bad call, but you can't say that it's a fucking robbery. You know, close fights ain't, ain't, ain't robberies. They just bad calls sometimes. But at the end of the day, man, Chocolatito went out here. Um, his jab work, his defense was up to par. Um, he used his angles on Martinez. The body work was just beautiful. Oh, my God, his body work was beautiful, bro. His body work was beautiful. You feel me? He prairied a lot of punches where people like prairieing is a lost order in boxing. And Chocolatito kind of mastered that prairieing shit. You feel me? He kind of mastered that prairie and shit. Catching punches on the arms, rolling with him, coming back, catching your ass and shit. Earl Spence do a lot of prairie as well. So prairie is a lost art in boxing. You feel me? A lot of people think they can shoulder roll this, that, and the third. But when you look at the situation, man, Chocolatito is a smart, dangerous fighter to be the age he's at. To be the age he's at, bro, and performing the way he's performing, with the stamina being there, still being able to take these youngsters to school the way he just did, you have to get his man his props and congratulate him. You have to give him his props and congratulate him, bro, because he put on a hell of a performance. He put on a hell of a performance, and I respect it. You know what I mean? I respect it. So, you know, um, like I say, we'll see what's next for him after this. We'll see what's next for um, my guy Martinez. Like his, like I said, his career is not over with. All you got to do is just get back out there, understand what you are, bro. Keep your confidence up. You know what I mean? Stay your ass in the gym. Get the weight down so you don't have to use, you know, camp as a fucking – um, um, a weight loss, you know what I mean? Even though he took this fight on short notice as well, we got to put that out there. Um, he took this fight on short notice, so salute to him for stepping up to the plate and saving the court. You know what I mean? We all know um, Juan Estrada, I think he caught COVID, if I'm not mistaken. You feel me? And Martinez jumped in. He saved the day. He saved the court, and I'm quite sure he was um he was paid handsomely. He was paid handsomely. You dig me? But at the end of the day, you always want to go out there. You always want to get the W. You always want to go out there. You always want to get the W. You feel me? I, I'm quite sure Martinez had in his head that he was going to be victorious in this fight. Looking at Chocolatito, looking at the last fight, probably thinking that, you know, he was on the back end of his career. Not saying he wasn't taking the series, but thought, you know, he was on the back end of his career and he was going to go out there and his power was going to take over. The youth was going to take over and things of that nature. But Chocolatito showed that, boy, listen, I'm hurt, bro. I'm a veteran. I know how to adapt. If you don't bring your ass in her ready, then this was going to happen. Just like I said, I said you got to be ready for Chocolatito, bro. You have to be on point. You can't go in there bullshit, sleeping and lapping, thinking that, you know, I'm going to do this and do that. And I think he kind of did that a little bit, and I think the body shots took some of the air out of him. And I do think Chocolatito took a little of his confidence in the, in the beginning and the middle rounds. He turned it up kind of um, late for his Martinez, having a heart and going out there and leaving it all on the line. So I respect him with that one. Uh, Chris Colbert, you can take some of that heart from Cesar Martinez and see that's how you go out when you're down on the cards. That's how you go out. You feel me? But like I say, you got to get smarter with his defense and don't just take them punch to the face like that because you will pay for it in the future. Most definitely you will pay for it in the future. But that was a hell of a fight. We all enjoyed it, man. It led up to the hype. Chocolatito is victorious. Give him his roses. Give him his flowers. Um, Chocolatito is a man that you got to like. He's a fight that you got to like. If you don't like Chocolatito, then you just don't like boxing at the end of the day. But that was a hell of a performance, and we'll see what he got, you know, in the future, man. But right now, let him enjoy his win. That was big time, and, and we'll just see what happened next. You feel me? Canelo was in the building. Um, I'm quite sure he enjoyed it, right? Getting ready for his fight. We heard what he said about Triple G. Video coming on that. But tonight was Chocolatito night. Congratulations to him. I'm going to be a, a fan of Chocolatito until my casket drop, and I can't wait to see him in a trilogy with Juan Estrada. Y'all have a good one, man. Y'all know what it is. This your boy, Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App? TreyHunter52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.